hey y'all hey today's video is my master bedroom clean with me and i am going to be tackling everything from decluttering just cleaning all of the surfaces making sure everything is nice and neat and tidy i will be doing some laundry as well as in this video so you will get some laundry motivation as well but i do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by top in vacuum cleaner and they sent this vacuum for me to review for you guys so i hope that you enjoy and let's get into it that's why I wrote you a letter Cause you see I write so much better okay so this is just the overview of the master bedroom and it is a complete disaster and if you're asking myself why it looks like this girl I gave up I just let the kids do whatever they wanted to do and I am gonna be cleaning this bedroom while Logan is taking her nap so yeah let's get started but um, first things first I'm just gonna start picking up some things off of the floor off of the bed just a little bit here and there something that I'm I don't want to step on but yeah I am also going to be freshening up my sheets with a linen spray that I found at the local home goods and I've used it in a previous video but yeah I really do love the smell of it it's also a, a room refresher as well so I'm going to be using that on the sheets I changed my sheets two or three days ago so it's they're relatively brand new I just want to freshen them up a bit but yeah um you may see Lucas pop in and out because he is not a napper that's just not what he does if you are new here welcome my name is Denise and I am a stay-at-home mom of two I have a little boy named Lucas and he is four and I have a daughter and she is 10 months old and yep on my channel here I do motherhood lifestyle I do cleaning as you can see I, I do it all if you I mean if you're interested please check out some of my playlists and other videos just so you get to know me just a little bit better but if you are new I am so grateful that you chose to um, click on this video today and I just want to thank you so so very much So now that I have my bed all made up, I am moving on to cleaning my nightstands. And if you are wondering why that lamp is on the floor, Logan spilled my water on my nightstand yesterday and I just had to hurry up and clean it and I never put the lamp back. Yeah, so I've been going through it over here. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are new here. <laughs> But anyway, like I said, I'm going to be giving them a surface wipe down and later on I am going to come back to mine after I clean my desk and declutter underneath um, that open space because it was just an eyesore. So yeah, if you see something and it bothers you, go ahead and just take care of it. Just don't let it fester like I do because it's very annoying. <laughs> Okay, so now we are finally here at my desk and as you can see, it is cluttered with all things snack. I like to eat, the kids like to eat. So there's food everywhere and it's just gotten out of hand. I, sometimes after um, bath time, I do Logan's hair at my desk. That is also something that needs to quit, but I'm also doing a little bit more decluttering from underneath my desk. I, I just don't understand it, y'all. I just. Uh, Oh my God, it's just, I'm not complaining. I'm very blessed. So let's move on. Like I said, I am gonna be moving everything off of the desk, giving it a good wipe down, and I'm gonna put everything that I absolutely need back on the desk, and hopefully I can maintain this look. So yeah, let's get started.
any of you are wondering what solution I'm using today, it's just my all natural, the water hydrogen peroxide essential oils um, of lemon and lavender. I'm still using it. I was going to use um, a Lysol product today, but yeah, I just had it right in my room so I was just gonna go ahead and use it so I didn't have to go all the way downstairs but yeah maybe in my next um, cleaning video I will switch out and use a Lysol product While I was cleaning underneath my nightstand, I found so many old journals. I'm talking from back in 2016, 2017. Oh my God, I just, I used to be really huge into journaling. Now I do write some of my thoughts down and I do still love to read my books. So leave it down in the comments. What is the book that you are reading right now? Is it about finances? Is it about personal growth? Is it about cooking? I'm a little bit nosy and I just want to maybe read something new. So let your girl know what it is that you are currently reading. picking up everything that is on the floor and I'm going to also be putting some of the toys that is in my bedroom into the um, new play space and if you missed that video then I will have that linked in the cards for you guys so you can see the loft space transformation y'all I am in love like it really is making me um, think of ways to redo my own bedroom so that it can all like correlate and, and just look great together but anyway moving on to some laundry folding motivation um if you are new here then you probably don't know this but I do fold my kids clothes as well as our clothes um, a different way I just like that they are tight and they don't unravel or anything like that packing is a breeze because they all stay nice and neat but um yeah I just want to put that out there that I do fold my clothes a little bit differently so if you see a whole lot of flipping and flopping and flapping that is what I'm doing I'm neatly folding my clothes <laughs>
just so I don't disturb Logan or interrupt what Lucas has going on out there I am just gonna put these clothes in a basket and then I'll put them away once she wakes up but yeah I'm gonna do this neatly and hopefully putting them away will be a breeze Okay, so moving on to the highlight of this video. Thank you to Toppin for sending me this vacuum to review for you guys. Um, the packaging, can you see it? It is amazing and it's so neatly packed. I really enjoyed unpacking this thing for you guys. Um, I am going to lay out all of the components on the bed so that I can show you everything that came included in this box. The battery is already inside the handheld for you. I'm just showing you how to take it out and put it back in. It's very easy. You have your floor brush and it also comes with four LED lights. Y'all, you can light up your trash. You can see all of the dust. This topping is popping. It comes with an adapter, your wall mount pieces, your wand, you have your extension hose, a crevice tool, as well as a two-in-one dusting brush. Let's get into the use of this vacuum cleaner. I love it like i said and i will repeat myself this topping is popping y'all remember that because mother's day is coming up and you may also need a new vacuum cleaner so let's finish up this review so we can get my final thoughts on this matter but the light on this vacuum it kind of took my breath away i've never had a vacuum cleaner with lights so and the fact that it comes with four it's lighting up the whole floor it is just amazing um especially at night it's it's just something to it's i just love it i can't say any bad words about it but yeah and if you are a, a vacuum line girl you can achieve some vacuum lines in your um carpeting experience with this vacuum as well this vacuum cleaner does have three suction powers and i am going to let you guys hear what they sound like just so you can hear it for yourself the power that it has it has minimum medium and maximum and yeah so make sure your volume is turned down right about now Okay guys, so I told y'all to turn it down just a little bit. I hope you took my words to heart and did so because you might be just a little bit um, disturbed right now. But anyway, I'm gonna continue on vacuuming my floor. I'm also gonna show you guys how I um, used some of the attachments. Well, I used all of the attachments in this video so you guys can get the full review of this here vacuum. Um, and it's full potential. So yeah, let's keep going. So right now I'm just removing the floor brush from the wand and I'm going to attach the two in one duster. But first I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to remove the brush roll out of the um, brush head. You just push that little button, slide that thing out. If you do have um, debris on it, the little knife cutter that also came with the thank you bag, you can just cut it, comb it out, remove everything, discard it in the trash. How easy and simple was that? Make sure 
if you didn't see it re rewind that thing I'll play it again y'all game changer I, I'm sure I, I may have had an attachment or a, a nice little knife comb like this with previous vacuums but um it probably got lost in the sauce of life because I promise you I haven't seen it but anyway like I said I am going to attach the two-in-one duster just so you guys can see how I used it in this here master bedroom clean with me I am going to be using it to clean my curtains to remove some of the dust you just have to push the button extend it if you just want bristles and just pull it back down if you want to concentrate some of that dust um, yeah it's awesome I love it You can also just easily remove the wand and just attach the extension hose to the handheld component or you can just not use the extension hose and just directly attach that um, dusting tool to the handheld vacuum part as well and you know it, it's just easy to click it and remove anything. Um, you will definitely enjoy this here vacuum i'm definitely gonna leave it down in the description box so you can um purchase this yes because like i said mother's day my friend and you may also be in need of a new vacuum and the price is right so yeah make sure you are checking the description box for this here vacuum because it is there waiting for you Now I'm just going to um, attach the crevice tool just so I can use it to clean the dust from the baseboard and the carpet. That little crease right there gets really dirty and filthy and look at how easily I'm able to do that. Just prior to this you saw me use the, um, the dusting tool and I used that to get the dust off of my baseboards but this is getting the dust from the baseboard and the carpet this is great for you carpet people just like me like i know i'm not alone that gets really dark and black and now you can get it all up and did i forget to tell you that cleaning your stairs your carpeted stairs by the way will be a breeze with this thing like i love it and when it is all full Please make sure you are emptying your dust can properly. It does say max when it is full and it just a, a little touch of that little green button right there. And you just flip open that trash can and empty that thing. I'm going to show you guys how to remove the filter because you can wash all of those pieces. It's very easy to do. I did have to use my finger to remove some of that tightly packed dust but I am going to wash my hands before I show you guys how to remove the filter properly you just turn it counterclockwise remove the top take out your puffy filter and remove the HEPA filter as you can see mine is dirty and I only cleaned my master with it so a few more uses and I will definitely be washing this and it does take 24 hours to dry so you wash it and you let it dry overnight and continue on with your use but um, yeah I, I'm amazed just make sure everything is lined up and it should go in there smoothly replace your filter put your cap back on and it'll click and that's how you know that it is on properly and then you just put your little hand part back on it's all a very pleasurable experience but anyway you don't have to believe me you should just buy one and try it for yourself like i said it will be linked in the description box 
all right y'all that concludes the video thank you so much for watching this video um make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it consider subscribing if you are new here special thank you to Toppin for sending me this vacuum i thoroughly enjoyed it and like i said it will be linked in the description box as mother's day is on its way um my bedroom looks great the floor feels amazing and yeah i'm looking forward to being a little bit more productive in this room and i'm going to try to keep my children at bay we'll see how long that lasts um until my video thank you again for watching and i'll see you on wednesday with a new one at five o'clock bye